Hello, welcome to GeoAI tutorial number 20. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create uh, image chips from multiple images and a mask just with one line code. So in one of the previous video, uh, I think GeoAI tutorial number four, I show you how to create image chips from just one single image and one mask. So basically one to one. But uh, when you're trying to train a deep learning model, sometimes you have images uh, from multiple locations and uh, you can put them in a directory then you can just use the function that i'm going to introduce today to create image chips so in that way you your training data can cover a variety of locations different landscape settings so it's going to make your model uh, more ro uh, robust so uh, let's get started first you need to go to the geo uh, ai website to download the noble example so uh, go to the website opengeoai.org so the, actually i um, just uh, have this new domain uh, sometime last week so uh, all the links in the previous videos uh, you'll be automatically redirect to this website and um, if you find the examples scroll down to find uh, here image tiling so this is the notebook we're going to use as you can see it's pretty simple we only have a couple lines code and that's the whole idea of you of this package is to make it easier for you to uh, apply deep learning techniques on uh, remote sensing data so uh, you can either download this from your computer uh, upper right corner click the link and you can just right click save as uh, you will be able to save this one to your uh, computer and you will need to set it up uh, to install the packages i'm not going to cover in this video you can also run this one on Google Collab. So right click, open this one in Google Collab and uh, make sure you change the, oh, by the way, this one we don't use um, a GPU. So you can just run through that, uh, install the package, uh, that's fine. And I'm gonna show you how to run that using my local uh, Jupyter Notebook. So I'm going to go to the examples directory and then image tidying. All right, so uh, first we need to import uh, the libraries and then I'm gonna download some sample data. You're welcome to use your own data set. You don't necessarily have to use my data, but, but I have a data already created. So I have a folder of images and also a folder of uh, mass, basically link cover data. I will show you sort of this. So if I download this one and then just uh, click um, run this uh, code block to download the file, it will automatically download the file and also unzip the file to your uh, computer. Not so why it's taking, um, if my internet is down. Uh, let me double check. Okay, I, I was having some uh, internet issues, but uh, it works fine now. So you can see it has downloaded the um, file, uh, the zip file, and then uh, extracted to this directory. So you can click here, um, go to this directory somewhere here, then uh, cover sample data. As you can see, I have two uh, directory here. One is uh, images, the other one is a mask. So if you click inside, you should be able to see all the images. So these are basically I extracted uh, from uh, USDA net imagery and also the lane cover data. So again, you can go to the mask, you can check a look at, take a look at the lane cover data. If you want to, oh, uh, to take a look at this one, uh, you can certainly do using some desktop GS. So for example, I can open maybe uh, QGS just to quickly show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna open QGS and then um, I can just open a directory here, um, somewhere GeoAI and then docs examples, uh, link cover data here. So these are basically the data set that I just downloaded and extracted. So you can see I have a bunch of uh, 20 images and I also have 20 uh, masks. So with that, now we can actually um, visualize them on uh, QGS. So I'm going to quickly maybe drag this one. Uh, let me open, uh, put the mask uh, images first. So I'm gonna have uh, control A and then just drag them here. It should work. Um, it's just uh, not responding, just keep wait for a few seconds. Okay, so I'm loading this one using the uh, interface. So as you can see, I have 20 image chips. Uh, it's already image chips, actually. But in reality, you don't have to use something like adjacent to each other. It can be uh, a variety of locations. Just for simplicity of this tutorial, I'm just using this um, because I, I extracted them from uh, uh, area imagery so these are basically the images that we have uh, 20 images and similarly you can also visualize the uh, raster type uh, the, the lane cover data so i'm going to go back to the directory here sample data and then mask so i can also select all of these so you can see what it looks like so the idea is that we you want to train a lane cover uh, classification model but you have um, lane cover data from uh, different locations and then you also have some set of images and you want to create image chips so this is for you so as you can see i we also have this lane cover 
uh, data here so if you uncheck them you will be able to see so it's one to one so that means you have one image you have one mask so it's a one-to-one -one relationship uh, make sure that they are the same size uh, also the same geo reference so in that way uh, you can it's kind of like treating that as a single image after we run the function and then it's going to extract the sub chips i'm going to double click here to show you the site if you click the information you should be able to see um this height is um, 980 and 1024 i think this is probably because it's in the border but i think for all the images i set the size of uh 1024 and 1024 so that means um it's the same size so it's just a square but uh, if this is too big for your deep learning uh for your gpu or for your deep learning model because your model have a space uh, specified size uh, you will still need to create image chips from this and this is the idea of using this tutorial is to just run this function uh geo ai geo tiff types uh batch and then so we're going to specify for example here uh we are going to specify the input directory so this is where all the images coming from and also where the mask coming from the last one is the tile is basically your output so where do you want to save output so we're basically going to create the tiles directory and we're going to extract all of those from this um, um input data so once you set the uh data then you can just call this function so we're going to specify the input directory the images the master output and this is where you specify the size so basically how big you want your image chips to be uh, this image is already 1024 so if you want like 250 or 512 or whatever you like you can specify the tile size here and the, uh, the swipe uh, basically means it overlap so when you are basically sliding window from the left to the right from the top to the bottom uh, you have 512 so when you are sliding you want to have one 28 pixels overlay from the first one to the next one to the next one so uh, if you need um, for example 256 you can change it here and also whether or not you want to be uh, quiet more quiet means is it doesn't print out the message so sometimes if you have locked the images you might want to wait for a while but for in for the demo here i'm just going to create uh show you the quiet uh, set quiet to two or it's quiet to force that means i can show uh, show you the progress so let's just run this one and as you can see it's going to uh, tell you how many images and masks that uh, we have to process and then it's going to go through each uh, images and going to create the tile so as you can see it's processing, processing the first one finding the image and also the corresponding mask the second image and the mask all the way until it finished total of 20 so at the end total image pair 20 and then how many tiles were generated so we are basically um, generating uh, 500 tiles uh, 500 image chips from 20 images so 20 images and also 20 masks after that you should be able to see all the tiles from here so under the tiles directory you will see two folders one is called images the other one uh, is called mask so inside you'll be able to see for example uh, if you see the file name convention it's going to look like this because our initial image for example is named like this all the way to here and then after we create uh, the image chips, it's going to be tell you 0101 because it means the first row, first column. And then so similar here, or oh, 0101, So basically this means uh, just the tile number. Um, oh, so this one is the original file name. 00, this basically means the, uh, the number of image tiles. So as you can see, for the first image, we have roughly how many tiles uh, out here? Uh, 20. Uh, 25 so basically 5 to 5 so you can see from uh, 10 24 to 5 uh, 12 so you're going to basically sliding through and then uh, creating all the uh, images uh, small tiles and similarly you will find the uh, mask here uh, you should have the same so we're going to have basically a total of 500 images and also 500 masks once you have that you can pass into the model to train uh, a deep learning model so uh, if you want you can go to this tutorial train segmentation model so this is exactly what you need is to prepare the input so in this tutorial i show you um, how to actually train the model using the sample data that are provided but if you have your own data that you want to use but you have a bunch of large images and also a bunch of uh, maybe length power classification or other segmentation mask then you can use this function that i show you in this tutorial to actually create image chips and then to train the model and then also run the reference uh, inference on the um on your data okay so that's all for this tutorial i hope you find it useful i will see you uh, in the next one take care